Hey guys, so today we have a custom tutorial to make transformer diagram. Specifically, in this case, I want to make diagram about the cherry crowd that we have for the Revenge of Fallen movie. Of course, this will have to be sandy colors or just round color in most of the dancer scenes and i also want it to be used for some other movies like the last night movie i also check out the abandoned town scenes i'll see that the round also look mostly just sandy colors and brown colors so that's why today i want to make a diagram that can be reusable across multiple movies so let's talk about the material that we need first so here will be the first piece so you can see that this is just a very durable plastic piece with a boss form Amazon. I'll put the link in the description if you're interested. I basically just look for some display base that can be used but like I couldn't really find any base that is flat and have to be hard enough so that after I custom them they can last for a long time. I also consider using wood or using metal but metal is too heavy and wood are broken very easily so that's why I look into plastic and they do have some very interesting kind of plastic option on Amazon so this one I paid 1 over 8 inches in terms of thickness and I think that is thick enough and it's very hard and the surface area is big enough for me to just displace my figure or just film some scenes with this background so that's why I picked this one so firstly we need a base so in this case I picked just a black one and then it actually have two sides so we can either use the smooth side or we can use the rough side so for this piece of plastic, I'll use a rough side because I think that is more realistic. And next, because I want to make the round sandy, round color, so I will be using this pen over here, Vallejo Diorama FX Earth Texture. I used this one before for one of my action figure display space and I think it's worked out very well. So that's why today I will continue using this. So let's get right into it. We do the painting first. For that we'll use some brush. So in this case, I just pick a brush here. I also just bought this brush from Amazon. Let's just go right in, do this paint and paint the surface area. I tried this before for the action figure base and it's worked very well that time. So hopefully it will work well this time as well. But of course, we have a much bigger surface area this time, so it will definitely cause a lot of pain. But we should have still have more than enough to actually paint the whole surface area here.
and it is our final resort. Let me know what you think in the comment. We'll be able to see the figure got this place on this and see how good they look. You, yes, you, subscribe to our channel, please, otherwise, Megatron may kill me again. And no, I'm not kidding, he's right there. Hey, Josh, so please, subscribe, I don't want to be back in two pieces. Your subscription means a lot to us.